the elves have mundane objects as we do, for even their common containers and vessels seem uncommonly fine. This artifact was once part of a table setting given as a gift centuries ago. The other parts were broken when one of Mordor's many ground trimmers knocked them off a shelf. How I wish my predecessors had saved the broken shards. That's a puzzle I'd like to reassemble. Elven things deserve to last. This pipe is purported to be the creation of hobbits, a sort of halfling that lives beyond our reckoning in the north. I wonder at the strange notion of full-grown adults who scarcely reach my waist in height. But after what I've seen in Mordor, a hobbit would be a welcome sort of strange. Though I don't think a hobbit would last long in Mordor. Now all I need is some pipeweed. Which you won't find for leagues in any direction. In the Great Hall of Minas Ethel, we didn't just safeguard the treasures of our past, we kept our present there as well, an archive of all our official correspondence with the capital. I used to file away missives from Minas Tirith after my father had read them. This was a weekly task at first, but as our surroundings grew more dangerous, scrolls like this one became more rare. I wonder whether there were promises of aid that the orcs intercepted, plans for relief that we never saw. The workings of government reduced to parchment. Minas Eagle didn't need parchment. It needed reinforcements. When Aena didn't return from his confrontation with the Witch King, word of his fall spread like wildfire across Gondor. The Witch King's forces were regrouping, rapidly seizing lands once under Aena's rule. Some regions fell so quickly that letters sent by the first ruling steward of Gondor, Mardil, never reached their destinations. For generations we stored the unread letters here, destined to remain forever sealed. We know those lost Gondorians will never claim their letters, but we keep them to honor their memory. I wonder what will become of the last few letters I sent on my father's behalf. You are not tempted to read the letters? No need. I know the heart of my people, so I know what they say. We Gondorians called Minas Ethel home, but we cannot claim to have built it. That honor belongs to exiles from the fabled realm of Numenor beyond the Sundering Seas. Wondrous architects, they fashioned this city of marble to reflect the moonlight and glow with an inner warmth. But the city's beauty and light drew the ire of the Witch King, who has long sought revenge on Gondor. The Numenorean's knack for towers rivals the elves. Who do you think taught them? They were but precocious students. Huh? <laughs> 
Gondorian folk tales abound with drakes, lesser versions of the great dragons who supposedly slumber under the earth. Yet here in Mordor, I've seen them with my own eyes, though from a safe distance, and they are nothing like the storybooks say. They are lethal hunters of the air, rapacious and cruel, apt to torment their prey before eating it. This scale, taken from a drake carcass we found in a ground cave, gives some sense of their size, and how strong they must be to carry such weight aloft. Scale of a drake or a full-fledged dragon? Certainly a drake. Dragons take better care of their scales. What was that noise? Father always said a proper war banner has two roles to direct and to inspire. In the chaos of battle, he'd say, you won't march wrong if you keep your flag in sight. Now the orcs have cast down our banners, but Gondor's flag still inspires, even if I see it only in my mind's eye. So long as one Gondorian lives, the white tree still stands tall. of our people. Long may it fly. Concern yourself more with the towers it's flying from. I see the I don't like the sound of that! <laughs> These men don't deserve to burn. The Red Arrow is one of Gondor's most treasured symbols. Though few know just what it symbolizes. When our need is dire, we can present the arrow to the men of Rohan, and they are bound by ancient pact to ride to our aid. We should have used it in the early days of the siege, but the orcs encircled us so quickly, and Rohan is too far away. I wonder whether Rohan would honor this arrow if they saw it. Difficult to say. Men have short memories. And shorter still in a crisis. The orcs are obsessed with rings. More so than coins or jewelry of equal value. They snatch them from prisoners immediately. And what happens to these rings is anyone's guess. We rarely find orcs actually wearing them. Fine ring. But I gather it's an ordinary one. Ha! Scarcely worth the same name as the ring we created. won't talk, but the wilds of Mordor only answer to me!
Gondor has faced the Witch King before, and he's had a vendetta against Minas Ethel ever since. This coin depicts the victor, Aena, last king of Gondor. Generations ago, Aena led an army that routed the Witch King and sent his army fleeing to Angmar. But our victory turned hollow when our king grew prideful. The Witch King challenged Aena to single combat, and Aena rode eastward from Minas Tirith, never to be seen again. It takes a nation to defeat such evil, not just one man. Eleanor. You fought the Witch King. Twice, because he did not finish the task the first time. Each city in Gondor administers its own justice in all but the most important cases. And in my lifetime, we've always handled legal matters in Minas Ethel. When I was a girl, I recall my father being much occupied with mercantile disputes and other legal affairs. Then the orcs came, and matters of justice yielded to matters of survival. The devil. seemed an odd symbol for justice. What is justice, if not a hammer to beat down the proud nail? It's easy to dismiss the orcs as brutish, but that demeanor masks a cunning and cruelty well suited for warfare. Their weapons likewise seem brutish, but make no mistake. They know their purpose. One sharp blow to the head will split your skull, whether it comes from Gondorian steel or orcish pig iron. This mace is far older than what we usually find on the battlefield. I doubt the orc who stole it knew of its heritage. The last king of Gondor, Aena, challenged the Witch King himself in the heart of Angmar. Armored for war, not ceremony, he left his crown behind when he rode to his fate. We hold it in trust for the day when a king of Gondor will return to wear it. Though we need a future king with enough sense not to confront the Witch King alone. This crown is worthy of a king. Ah, but your people have spurned their kings, have they not? I don't think anything was ever there! esteem delicate finery in all their arts, and the crystals in this artifact glow softly, even in a pitch-black room. I know this firsthand because I'd often sneak into the Great Hall and read by crystal light when everyone thought I was safely in bed. Finest crystal found in roughest Mordor. Fascinating. Surprise the orcs didn't smash it just to hear the sound.
I believe this plate is of Easterling manufacture. The ceramic and the style of decoration is a sort unknown to me or anyone I've shown it to. I know that the Easterlings from beyond the Sea of Rune have never been friends to Gondor, and their war chariots and wing wagons are fearsome indeed. But I should like to meet one up close when battle is not at hand. No matter how fierce they are, they're still men, not Uruks or other minions of the Dark Lord. That's the Ranger! The Easterlings, stranger even than the Herodrim of the South. But just as vulnerable to entreaties from Sauron. To an orc, grog is strong drink for their bellies, but it's also medicine for their wounds, and so combustible that it may even be fuel for their war machines. Few Gondorians dare drink it, lest we start to behave like the orcs. Still, it is worth studying. Baronor has some ideas about a poison that, when mixed with grog, can disable or even kill the strongest orc. This grog smells foul. Ah, but to an Uruk it is ambrosia. Gondor's preferred order of battle with variations is a chart depicting how an army should be organized, from the frontline infantry to the cooks and teamsters in the rear. Whenever I study it, I'm amazed at what it takes to send an army to war. Details down to the number of cobblers and farriers for each column of soldiers. Such matters of supply seem mundane, until you're under siege, desperately fighting on quarter rations. Then, you're eager to pay attention to logistics. The structure of Gondor's army, from general to foot soldier. A structure the orcs will cast down the moment they set foot in Gondor. the grand dramas and pageantry of Minas Tirith itself, but we had simple arts like music to give us the solace of home. When all around us lies in shadow, a simple folk song or pleasing dance was a ray of sunshine. I wonder if such music will ever be heard again. You know, I'd always meant to learn the lute. Your hands aren't meant for music, Talion. They have a more serious purpose. Stupid pink skin! Close. 
Somebody sneak. Get him! Did I just hear something? You shout as the Terrier! Your legend rivals mine. An adventurer, a lover of life and death. A despiser of shallow moderation. This, my friend, is the beginning of a wondrous journey for you and I. Let us embrace the madness and see who comes out the other side. The Sea of Nern is home to beasts we can scarcely comprehend. But from time to time, clues about their existence wash up on the shore. Our patrols found this fossilized squid beak years ago. If it is proportional to the smaller squids that fishermen sometimes catch, the sea creature would be several hundred feet long. Such a monster is the stuff of nightmares, proof that this world hides horrors far worse than the orcs. Beast, this must have been, and I doubt it was the last of its kind. By reading the history and peoples of Gondor, every child receives countless lessons in our realm's history our kings and heroes, our battles and triumphs. Doubly so for those of us who grew up on Gondor's frontiers. The teachers meant well. They were trying to inspire us. But all the tales of Gondor remind us how exposed we were to the threat of Mordor. <laughs> Gondor's history. Triumph in one chapter. Despair in the next. Concern yourself with the chapter yet unwritten. This artifact, a chunk of moonstone, was our last acquisition before the orcs came. A scout found it still smoldering out in the fields where it fell to earth from the moon overhead. I am far from superstitious. But even I wonder whether this bit of fallen moonstone was meant to serve as an ill omen for the disaster that followed. An ill omen from the skies. Mina Seafill was doomed long before this moonstone fell to earth. Some orcs are self-styled marauders who crave riches more than other orcs. Greed, not bloodlust, motivates them, and unlike most other orcs, they wear jewelry such as this ring to mark their status. We obtain this ring from a dead marauder, so we've no idea of its history, though it seems Numenorian. If only we knew where the marauders find treasures like this ring. There's so much we could learn. Crafted one by the standards of men.
When the sun rises, the shadows must retreat, fleeing in fear from the fires of war. The night never knew that its end was fleet, as a bright lord bears beacons of flame. The sun rises, yes, but from the west it shines, marching air eastward, air bright. We should return to Shelob. She can help us. Choose your allies. Lead on. Come, Bright Master. Golem will show you a creepsia path. That wasn't just a troll. They are Olog High, war trolls. They're smarter, faster, and immune to sunlight. Sauron's forces are more powerful than ever. We hate them as much as we hate nasty orcs. We keep our distance so we don't get squished and crushed into bits. Like how you tried to crush my head with a rock the last time I saw you. <sighs> but we didn't. We could never hurt the Brown Lord. We make up for it now. Yes? That is yet to be seen. Close, Bright Master. We're very close. I know why you are here. Return what you have stolen. Silence, Ringmaker. You forget yourself. Stolen. You begged me to have it. And what of you, Tali? I am here for Minas Ethel. You seek to save it. Even though it may already be lost. There must be a way. There is truth in your vision. Grant me another. To what end? For knowledge? To dominate? You don't have to tell me. Here is your truth. <sighs> you want to move up the ranks, you got to kill. You want to get noticed, kill a big skin. The bigger the target, the higher he rise. Idril. She dies. Many will pass before Sauron is defeated. This knowledge can guide our hand. If we kill this assassin, perhaps this future will not come to pass. She can be saved. 
She will live or die with honor, and it will not shift the tide of war. It is Castamere who must be protected. If he falls victim to this assassin, we will lose the Palantia. Oh, you found him precious? For the Bright Lord. We go to Kirith Amor. We'll find the nasty assassin. <laughs> Assassin must be stopped. Gollum, you know where to find him? Yes, we recognized his curved blade. A Morgul blade? Yes, stab, stab, stabbing all the War Chief's bodyguards. If we find the Uruk bodyguards he's targeting, we'll find the Assassin. The first one is near. This way. Careful! We see some more guy fly must. What are the... The first bodyguard should be this way. Earlier you said you recognized the assassin's curved blade. So you can see Shelob's visions. Yes, bright master. The bodyguards was nearby. We're sure of it. Only a Morgul blade could have caused these wounds. We're on the right track. He's been dead for some time. We'll need to move faster if we want to catch up with the assassin. Yes. We know where another bodyguard is. As the assassin kills his way up the hierarchy, he'll continue to seek bigger targets. Like Castamir. Yes. Castamir is the only one who knows where the Palantia is. He must be kept alive at Orc. We know the nasty Orc is here. But we forget where exactly. We are close. You can find it. Sizes in everything. Take flight! from a Morgul blade, just like the last one. This kill happened more recently than the other. We are getting closer. Gollum should know where the next target is. I found another Uruk. He hasn't been dead long. We're getting closer. Closer and closer. We will take you to where the next one is. Stupid orcs is never see Gollum. We sneak around and we hear so many things. Wait, orcs is a coming. Hide. He's terrified. Disgusting orcs. Always loud and mean, but they don't like the flies, precious. Especially the assassin. He, he runs whenever he sees them. We are close, but too many dirty orcs is around. Stay here. I can find him on my own. What I need is a word. The love of victim. Yet this one still lives. You are mine! Useless. 
I wouldn't be surprised if the Dark Lord himself thanks me for killing the Glob and taking his place. Much better job. I followed through by all this. So if you're here to stop me, you'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> Change which she loves so often, Minasithil. Minasithil will go the way of all flesh. We only need the seeing star. How much of your soul was lost in that ring? The dark mistress will be pleased. Drilling customers should be safe for now. But the siege of Minas Ethel continues. The Palantir is still at risk of falling into enemy hands. We are behind enemy lines. This is a perfect opportunity to sow chaos within Sauron's ranks. The assassin had one more target on his list. We should finish what we started and kill the War Chief's final bodyguard. For the execution! Baranor! You can't have run out of orcs in the city. There are a few left, but we're hunting one in particular. The last bodyguard of the war chief leading the siege. I think we're after the same orc, and the way to a war chief is through his bodyguards. You sound like you've had some experience in this. I've had enough. I'll follow your lead. With regards from Gondor. You mean that glory, the funny knight who was killing his way in the chain? Good Lock him anyway. Join your fallen brothers. Hmm! <laughs> <laughs> 
I almost feel sorry for the war chief we're hunting. He'll be lonely without his bodyguards. He'll join them soon enough. The war chief Baranor seeks is just one of many, and they will continue their attacks on Minas Ethel. help from the Gondorians to do it. You put too much faith in the spider. She only shows you what she wants. And tell me what you wish to see. Venus Ethel still standing. Oh, it's so selfless. Nothing more. We saw some troubling things last time, didn't we? I want to know my fate with the Nazgul. Be careful what you ask for, Ranger. With prophecy comes torment. We take the city at dawn! Submit to your I know what you fear, Talion. Shinob's vision is not cast in stone. The Witch King. It is the power of domination. The ring can enslave the minds of men. What can be done? Sacrifices must be made, and many will be lost. But we must hold to our purpose, no matter what the cost. can be saved. If the war chief from my vision is the same one Baranor and his men are hunting, they will need help. One war chief makes little difference. Right now, this one war chief is the most immediate threat to Minas Ethel. I will not stand by while Baranor and his men risk their lives to take him down. Baranor, I'm here to help. This war chief you're after. He's not one to be taken lightly. We've brought down war chiefs before, Ranger. But I won't turn down an extra sword. Then we shall take him down together. I'll take out his archers first. Your men move in after I've cleared the path. Marauders. Too much gold, not <laughs> enough steel. <laughs> We usually work alone. 
I hope the aim of these Gondorian archers is true. Otherwise, we'll be dodging friendly arrows. They're experienced soldiers. They'll do their part. An elven archer would be worth three Gondorian archers. Really? Only three? For a finer age. I like my blade nice and dull, but I stand on Man, feel Never underestimate men fighting to protect their home. This is not their home. I wish I was with that search beast. <laughs> That's the last of the archers. Now let's get to a vantage point. <laughs> Time to signal Barano's men. Ah, the lovely smell of men. Nothing is sweeter. Together, we will crush their defenses and grind them to dust! Together, as captains and war chief united, we will have victory! Together, we take the city at dawn! Set them ablaze! For Gondor! Now is the time to strike. What's going on? You must be the fool who killed my bodyguards! You only delay the inevitable. The blood of manswine will flow into my belly today, and I'll drink yours first. We're going to crush every bone in your body! Am I the only one who sees we ain't fighting yet? Get him! Ah! I'd say we're even. A good hunt. Hmm. Less so for the war chief. 
And his archers. We should go hunting again. It would be my pleasure. So, Tally. Did we make a difference? We cannot see all ends. We must return to Shilob. The only reason to go back is for my ring. Enough! This is about more than your ring. Or you! Her sight may be what saves us all. Too easily. I cannot ignore what she has shown me. 